Good evening, professor, fellow students, and honored guests. In 2017, when Aracellus Germany was asked to introduce poet laureate Lucille Clifton at an event, she pondered what to say about this brilliant, mighty, and magical woman. What to say indeed. We are gathered tonight to hear Lucille Clifton share some of her own works of poetry. I fell in love with her work many years ago, and I am delighted at the opportunity to introduce her to you tonight. Lucille had this to share about her own work in an interview in 1999. A person can, I hope, enjoy the poetry without knowing that I am black or female, but it adds to their understanding if they do know it. All of what I am is relevant. From a young age, Lucille used poetry to express her experiences as a black person and as a woman, and those themes are woven throughout the tapestries of her work. She used poetry to defy the odds that were against her as a young woman in New York, and through womanhood, motherhood, and a passionate career in arts and education, one thing can be said about Lucille Clifton. She is unapologetically herself. Her career was kick-started when a mutual friend introduced her work to Langston Hughes. He saw such value in her poetic voice that he featured her poetry in his anthology, The Poetry of the Negro. Her first book was published just a few years later and quickly climbed the New York Times bestseller list. Throughout her career, she became a poet laureate for the state of Maryland and spent many years as a professor at St. Mary's College of Maryland and Columbia University. Not only does she hold the honorable title of poet laureate, but she has received many awards for her works. The National Book Award for Poetry, the Ruth Lilly Poetry Prize, and an Emmy are just a few that I can name for you tonight. And in 1988, she became the first author to have two books of poetry nominated for the Pulitzer Prize. But the most important contribution that Lucille has made is to her own community, Black women. For decades, she has dedicated her life to elevating their voices and their experiences, and that is the most valuable thing of all. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce her to you tonight. Please join me in welcoming Lucille Clifton. <laughs> 